Hey guys, it's Mastonic. I'm bilingual Harkist. Minasan Konichwa, bilingual Harkist and Mastonic. Haruki Murakami, book guide short story 13, Barn Burning. So, in this video, I'd like to talk about Haruki Murakami's short story, Barn Burning. I hope this video um, want to uh, help to enjoy Haruki Murakami's short story more deeply. And if, it, if you have not yet read Barn Burning, in Japanese, Naya uh, I hope uh, this, this book guide will introduce about this very interesting book. Actually, this is so interesting and uh, very really Murakami's like a story. So let's get started. Um, as usual, for this video consists of three parts. First, overview of the book and the second story and start deep reading tips. How uh, it's my suggestion to how you enjoy the, this book more deeply, right? In the overview. In Japan, firstly appeared a literary magazine Shincho in 1983, January. So it's quite a long time ago. It's almost 40 years before. And, and, and the, in the English uh, market, it's contained in the Elephant of Vanishes. This, this is it. It's a, a collection of short stories. It's published in 1993. But in Japan, originally contained in the other collection of short stories, you see, in Japanese title, Hotaru Naya o Yaku, eh, Sonota no Tanten, and English, Firefly, Barn Burning, and the other, short, other short stories. It's published in 1984, uh, July. So, um, which means, the Warm Burning is a, a title of a collection of short stories. Yeah. And other works, Firefly in Japanese, Hotaru, it's very important uh, work, by the way. And then um, this Firefly is a, a model of Norwegian wood. So it's very important work of Haruki Murakami. And um, so, and it's a kind of uh, same importance. Uh, it's because this is a, it's kind of a double A, A <laughs> track. So Barn Burning is also a very important and very interesting work. And also it's, uh, as I said, it's published all about 40 years ago, but recently in 2018, in Korean film version, Burning has released. And then this is a, uh, this barn burning is a, a model story of, of burning. And so if you watch this film, Burning, uh, I don't know how how you felt, but um, to me personally, it's very interesting. And that's a very inspiring film. And in Japan, some of Haruki Murakami's work uh, turned into movie or film. But, um, majority of the comments, uh, feedback from audience is not so good. Actually, quite negative comments are very uh, often. I actually, myself, I, I really like uh, almost every version of the Haruki Murakami's other uh, film, like Norwegian Wood and uh, other things, yeah, etc. But um, on the other hand, Varning got a great reputation it's got high, uh, great, high rate because many famous uh, people and uh, commented uh, commented a very positive feedback to this film. Uh, one um, great example is a, a Mr. Barack Obama, ex ex president of the United States of America. He he posted on Facebook and Twitter on uh, almost end of the year and his favorite. A book or a music or film of the year. And then in 2000, maybe 19, uh, one of his best 10 movie of the, that, that year is Burning. And also he commented about his select choose in the novels uh, or books. And maybe I thought also 2019 is a hard to welcome the men without women. So anyway, he, uh, ex president Barack Obama kind of really liked Haruki Murakami's world. So in a way, it's very, from that perspective, perspective it's very 
interesting. So what kind of a story is burn burning? Actually, it's kind of um, word play like things. In Japanese, naya o yaku. Naya is burn and, and the burning yaku. It's a uh, naya o in When Japanese have naya o yaku, it's not really like such a word play because very separated, uh, very different word, naya and yaku. But in English, burn burning is kind of yeah, b and uh, so and the kind of same uh, uh, pronunciation, so much more word play. Maybe from that kind of word play, he um, <clears throat> he can Haruki Murakami can have an inspiration from that. I don't know. It's it's just my guess, but it's a really interesting word. And it, I I I just simply assume from that word play, burn burning to the in Japanese naya oyaku. And what kind of story could happen with that kind of title, naya oyaku? So he sometimes answered in interview that kind of from word play to or just a just the title was there, was just the opening of there. And from that point, he started to write about some story. As an example is uh, Tony Takitani is another example. He, Haruki Murakami found some t-shirts which is printed on Tony Takitani. And he he just wondered what kind of story might happen from that uh, print of the t-shirts, Tony Takitani. And then he write a Tony Takitani. And the Tony Takitani uh, later turned into movie uh, also. So that, that kind of uh, imagination uh, where I have to say our uh, inspiration could happen. Oh, wait, anyway, let's get let's move into the story. And this is a very interesting story. As always, protagonist or narrator is I, something like Haruki Murakami himself, but a uh, slightly different character of Haruki Murakami himself. And he or I met with girl who learned pantomime. And then there is me, I and this girl is a uh, kind of their age gap is there. I, uh, um, yes, I have a narrator is 31 and the girl is the 20. So there's uh, about 10 years, uh, years gap. But, and then it's, um, I don't know how their, their relationships really are, but um, in the text, they uh, get very close, but it's kind of really a casual relationship, I guess. And then because a narrator are uh, married and he, he has a wife, but but um, I don't know uh, in the in from the text we can just guess um, narrator and the girl's relationship not so so close just a kind of friends from the the way of uh, writing and anyway and um, he he met girl and uh, and th this girl learned pantomime this is the beginning of the story and. She went went to Africa because she in, inherited some some money from her her relatives, and then he, she went to Africa and returned to Japan with mysterious handsome guy. This mysterious handsome guy is very key key person of this story, and then, and in in the text the the guy's mysteriousness depicted uh, uh, related to. Gatsby, yes, Gatsby. Haruki Murakami translated Great Gatsby from English to Japanese. And the Great Gatsby is Haruki Murakami's very, very important novel of his old time. So, and then this guy is related to Gatsby. So this is a key person, very important person and a very interesting person also. And then there, the mysterious Gatsby like guy and, and the girl, girlfriend, uh, beached it, um, Narita's house. At that time, just coinc with coincidence, uh, Narita's wife just uh, go outside. So in, in their house, only Narita and the, the girlfriend and handsome, mysterious, handsome Gatsby, Gatsby like guy, it's three people are there. And they at first enjoyed the beer and some food. And, and the, uh, gradually they started to smoke smoking marijuana and then this there some weird guy visited the house and uh, enjoying uh, drinking and eating and smoking it's this uh, episode remind me Le Raymond Carver's the cathedral the Raymond Carver is 
uh, also very uh, important uh, American writer to Haruki Murakami because Haruki Murakami translated Raymond Kaba's every um, works into Japanese. And then Haruki Murakami rated the cathedral is kind of masterpiece of his work. And lately I, I read the uh, Raymond Kaba's the cathedral and they actually made a uh, book guide. Sorry, it's only Japanese, but um, but cathedral I talked about. And in cathedral, very similar thing is there. The in cathedral's case, the narrator's wife's friend visited his house, and that guy is a blind person. And the, the three of them uh, eating and drinking and smoking marijuana, and the smoking marijuana turned into very um, particular turned to a turn to, to particular activities. And that's a story of the cathedral. It's something like very similar. Three, three persons enjoying it, drinking and uh, eating and smoking. And in this case, the bomb burning, he gets me like guy talked about bomb burning. So he has a habit of bar, burning bomb. So, and the narrator of course ask about what what want you uh, make uh, what want you do uh, uh, what makes you do something like that and he took, he talked about blah 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 and it's very mysterious um saying and after that and okay and then and, and, and it gets me like I said this is um this visiting itself is also a checking the uh, kind of kind of a how to say preview of the next bomb burning. So he very mysteriously uh, mentioned about that. And then after that, narrator uh, went to a, a shop and bought a map of a neighborhood. And the, by the way, um, buying a neighborhood map is kind of very uh, old days uh, uh, activities anyway. And then, but, but uh, anyway, he, he bought and checked and he has a, a kind of loot of his jogging course and there there are several um, barn around his neighborhood and then all every day he he jogged and to check whether if any barn is burned or not and go on the, this is a story or um overview of the story so what do you think how is it it's really uh, murakami like very strange weird story and the Haruki Murakami's way of depicting this story is very interesting I, I really like his uh, way of writing the, they got some rhythm and they got some atmosphere in my personal feeling is especially this work is um, very in particular I, I felt it's his sentence he, or his writing is dry and still simultaneously wet. That's my impression I get from his his novel. The how to say narrator's feeling is kind of very uh, laid in um, inside. It's not how to say go outside his feeling. So in a way kind of very dry. But um, beneath the each person's um, mind, there's some kind of very witty or very personal, very or kind of liquid type of uh, feeling uh, I sensed from their, how to say, their internal um, mind. I don't know how to put it. Um, sorry, it's kind of, <laughs> um, it doesn't have ma any make sense to you, but um, that's, that's a feeling I, I got from this novel, especially from this novel, dry and wet. So here's a story. So, and then how I deeply enjoyed it. So it's the tips of a deep reading. Of course, first thing is to think about the meaning of a bomb burning. What's the meaning of bomb burning? It's to some readers very easy or very, um, very, how to say, obvious. Where the, the meaning of burn, burn, of course, burn is blah, blah, blah. Maybe some people, some reader very easy to find out. And oh, actually the Korean movie version of burning is 
very, um, very obviously uh, mentioned about it. Burn, it burn is something. So before thinking about it deeply, um, I should not recommend. Uh, I will not recommend uh, watching a movie. If you watch the movie, of course, this is it's not the answer. This is one perception because perception of novel is uh, totally up to each reader. So in a way, the movie's interpretation is, is just a, a one point of view, not the answer. But it's really like um, it's really like um, answer. Like it's really seems to be correct. Maybe buying it, meaning that that things. But before watching a movie, or you, if you already watched the movie, let's think about the meaning of burn, burning itself and why he did it. And also um, another uh, metaphor we should we, we can think about first is the pantomime. The girlfriend learned pantomime. Uh, why she learned pantomime? So well, as a metaphor, pantomime has. Any, any meaning or not. It's a very interesting way to deep read. And also why Africa? She went to Africa and in Africa, she met with the Gatsby like guy. Why Africa? This is another uh, point, how to say, another point of view of, of this um, book. So this is it. So I think, uh, firstly, thank you for watching my video and um, I hope this video um, help you read or enjoy more deeply or more interestingly. So, right. Um, if you like this video, I would appreciate um, subscribe channel and then give me a great rate. All right. Um, thank you for watching and see you next next video. Bye.